I'm Ross Doyle. I'm the Director of Operations and Communication at UNA and Grace Filtration, and I'm going to be talking towards the topic of innovation itself. We've been innovative in taking a brand new concept, addressing a pressing issue in the South African context, and doing so in a completely new and different way. Doing so with limited capital and limited knowledge within the industry itself. And through this, we created a self sustainable pump with highly complex engineering components without having any any knowledge within the industry or how to engineer such a device. And as I said, we did so with limited capital and reiterated it countless a number of times. And in creating capital for a really resource intensive product, we did so through creating a new capital procurement strategy, which is innovative in itself. And we had to find and identify another niche within the market itself. Um, within water filtration and the way that we could do that and we did so by micronizing a product and importing it and selling it for 150% profit and reinvesting that into our business itself. I'm Matthew Hamilton and I'm the Director of Finance in UNA and Grace Filtration. One of our main academic achievements this year has been our ability to able to adapt and overcome many changes that have occurred such as uh, how we were seven people in our group at the beginning of the year and we were reduced to five due to unforeseen circumstances and we were able to adapt to this massive change as our workload increased a huge amount as we discovered how collaborative we were throughout the year and no one fell short of any assignments and even though we came from different backgrounds and different paths we were able to come together and work as a team to overcome these big changes throughout the year. Hi, my name is Maria Cortipatella and I'm the Marketing and Brand Director at UNA. Part of the reason we have had a successful business this year is because we have a really unified and tight-knit group um, making our team in business. We all have similar values and objectives and we clarified those from the beginning of the year. So having that as a strong foundation has really helped us with problem solving and you know, crisis management as it's arisen throughout the year, especially with such a complex task that we you know, challenged ourselves to pursue. Um, getting into the water and sanitation industry has proven to be a very, very difficult and challenging feat, but I think everyone wanted to take the challenge and this is the way we wanted to you know, carry on our Genesis business's legacy for years to come because you know, it is solving critical problems with critical solutions and having opened that debate with higher positions in the industry and other organizations has really enabled us to move forward and to start devising solutions that will impact society better in the long run. Hi, I am Nikkei, Specific Director of Administration at UNA. This year we were able to come up with an average of 75% for all our assessments. We were able to achieve this because of our common goal that we have set from the beginning till the end of this academic year. And another thing that assisted us in achieving this goal was identifying core values from the beginning of this year through our Sunrise activity. And our core values are purpose-driven, ambitious, and honest. These three values, these top key values, managed to help us and held us accountable throughout all assessments this year. Hi, my name is Byron Kranzwick. I'm the Director of Product Development and Innovation at UNA. And yeah, essentially from the start, we've taken the concept of sustainability and really tried to stay very closely to it. Um, as a start, I think um, our product itself, although it's made out of plastic, it's made out of hard, durable, recyclable plastic, um, so people can reuse the, the product for, for, for many years, many generations. And if it does get to the point of recycling, then it can be recycled, absolutely no problem. Um, in relation to the product's value, uh, it recycles water very effectively, so instead of people using the same body of water once, they can reuse the same body of water, so it conserves water um, in areas that are very dr uh, dry or arid, um, this would be of extreme value. And then lastly, the time and energy that the product conserves for the people that use the product um, is absolutely paramount. Instead of collecting water every single day, they conserve time and energy and only collect once a week um, on average.